Hello, Peter from ClassicAmericanCarsales.co.uk here. Here we have a 68 Mustang Fastback in quite solid condition. Bought this car out of Georgia, done a few things to it. Um, it actually runs, got it started, and changed out the hideous bonnet for a factory Ford bonnet that came off a Ford Mustang GT Fastback. We put a different bonnet on it. Um, the car had a small amount of shipping damage, which I will show you. Very small in the front, a little more um, in the back, but I'll show it to you. Um, I actually have the um, header panel that came off to show you how little the damage was. It just hammered out. The valence was more damaged, but no damage to the frame rails or anything. Um, I think the car rolled off the transporter at the port and rolled into a fork truck in the back. So I'll show that to you. But really nice, clean car. Um, Obviously, you probably will be doing some body work, but as you can see, uh, we also put, uh, this car has four-wheel disc brakes. It has front disc brakes and it has rear disc brakes on a nine-inch with what I believe is a posi rear end in it. So that's quite cool. Probably a Lincoln Versailles rear axle. Uh, front corners of the doors have extremely small bubbles. Front wings look excellent. Pretty standard on these cars. Um, as you can see, the wing to door gap is very good. Top of the cowl looks good. Roof is real nice. Little dent there. Real soft dent there. Put a real nice set of Ford factory GT wheels on it. So this is where I think it rolled into a fork truck. The damage is limited to here, the quarter, and the quarter extension. Um, there's a little bit of rust there, as you can see, but this was not damaged. Trunk lid was not damaged. And the valence wasn't damaged, so I think that rolled into something quite considerable. It also bent up here. This is taken into consideration in the price. Transition pan is not bad at all. Surface rust there. Surface rust there. Trunk floor drop-offs are not bad. The quarters appear to be original quarters. It's a little tight in here, I apologize. Yeah, the quarters don't have any seams up top, so I think they are original quarters. My body guy felt he could take pull this out. Obviously, this would need to be replaced, but he felt he could pull this out which would be nice because the car has original quarters. The floors have been replaced. Factory seam, same as the other side. Scratch, not a dent, scratch. As you can see, the gaps on the car are really nice. It's, it's not been messed about with, which is super nice. And a real bonus, um, this is from the protector plate, which would have been the warranty card. The card's gone, the warranty card that the gentleman had or the woman had who bought the car originally. So that was in the glove box, a little insurance card. It's missing the dash pad, but everything else looks pretty darn good. Um, the obligatory missing horn button for the Grant steering wheel is on the dash. There is a rip, as you can see, at the top of the transmission tunnel, which would only require a patch. Car is registered and plated. Floors are not bad at all in this car. Seat upholstery does not need to be changed. Even the headliner looks real good. You definitely could just clean up this interior and use it, improve it as you go on. But I don't see any reason why you'd recover these seats. Even the door panels are original and they look pretty darn good. Car is a V8 car. It's a J-code, same engine as the GT. Inner aprons are really good on the car. Real, real nice car to do a restoration on. 
Transmission is an automatic. Um, all the guts are out of it and the transmission pan is gone. So just assume it's trash. Um, probably just worth getting an AOD or putting a four speed in it. Um, we did start the car. We put some gas down the carburetor. It's got a Shelby intake. Nope, sorry, this has got an Edelbrock intake. Well, pardon me, that one has the Shelby intake. Edelbrock intake. Four barrel carb. Holly. And this one, when we pulled the rocker cover, it had roller rockers in it. I think it was this car. We can confirm. I'll have it in my videos. Pretty sure it was this one had the roller rockers. The pictures are on my website. Super clean from a completely rust free 68 GT fastback bonnet that we replaced. And I have a front bumper, front bumper for the car and the bolts. And the thin trim is inside the car for the grill opening. So there we have it 68 fastback. Pretty damn solid project, obviously. We can do a good price on it for you. Let us know. Peter at ClassicAmericanCarsales.co.uk, pmustang at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.